In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make quick grass in Eevee without any add-ons. Okay, so let's start off by pressing X to delete the default cube and the light source. And we're going to replace the light source with an HDRI image. So let's add an environment texture. And then you can go to the browser and then go to hdrihaven.com. And then we're going to use one of the many free HDRIs. So I'm going to go to Outdoor, and then you can just download one of the many grass HDRIs for realistic lighting in your scene. So I'm going to select the Approaching Storm HDRI, and 4K should be enough. Okay. And then I'm going to speed up the download and go back to Blender. And then we need to open the HDRI that we just downloaded. Open image. And then when we go into render view, you can see that we have the background image. Okay, so now we have the grass lighting. And then next, we need a reference image for the uh, grass material. So go into references. And then search image. And then you need to enable the import export import images as planes. And then press shift A. And then go to image and then image as planes and then we can go back to the browser and then next you can google image images of uh, grass fields and use them for the material and then uh, make sure to download it i'm just going to overwrite the uh, previous file and if you want a, a different look for your grass later on you can just google grass field and so on and then just replace the uh, previous image texture. Okay, so let's go back to Blender and open the uh, image that we just downloaded. And then import, and then press R, Y, then minus 90 to rotate it minus 90 degrees on the Y axis. And then we can go into rendered view and I'm going to change the material before we add the actual grass. So let's set the specular value to zero and the roughness to one. And then we can save before we continue. So just give the file a name and then press enter to save. Okay, so next we're going to add the uh, grass particles. So uh, add a, a new particle system and then add here. And then I'm going to set the number to 30k, which should be enough. And then the next step is, of course, to decrease the length of the hair. Like this, around 0 0.04. You can also increase the number of segments, which is not really necessary for short hair. And then enable the advanced settings. And under physics, we're going to increase the browning value which adds some randomness and some noise to the uh, grass. Okay, so now we have the uh, simple hair particles. And as you can see, we can already see the material in the uh, grass, but we're going to uh, add some additional children to the grass, as well as removing the material at the uh, bottom. So uh, let's set the children type to simple and then the display amount to 20, and then decrease the radius. And when we go into rendered view, you can now see that we have some uh, pretty good looking grass. And then press Control Shift S to create another save. And then I'm going to add another material to the plane. And this one is going to be a uh, diffuse brown material. And then we need to go into edit mode and assign the material. So assign. And uh, now we have the uh, brown ground and the uh, green grass. Okay, so next we can set up the camera. So press Control Alt Numpad 0 and then press N and lock the camera to view. And then we can do a, a quick render before we end the tutorial. And in the render settings, 
we can improve the look of the grass by enabling ambient occlusion. And then you can change the factor value and uh, see what value you like the most. Changing the distance also makes a uh, difference, but I'm just going to keep the default value. And then I'll set the resolution to 4K. If you want 1080p, just leave it at 100%. Go to render and then render image. And that's how you make grass. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.